one okay well hi guys uh this is my project for uh, cpsc 42 2021 uh this is the final project my final project is a smoke alarm with the oh, it's a smoke alarm this is my code a rundown for this uh i made mine on tinkercad because i didn't have the uh the money to buy all the real materials like the arduino the smoke alarm the pising the resistors the led lights and the wires uh, so here, as you can see, this is my code. Right here, I'll break down what the code is. Oh, let me fix my mic. So first off, I I don't know if this is loud or not, but first off, I put down my name, class, today's. Well, I guess this was yesterday because I started working on this yesterday, like the main part of it, anyways. Um, so these are my int values. I use these to define the uh, the wires. Not the wires, but like what connects to what. So like so for AO over here is the green wire. You can tell by what I say here. The green wire connects to the smoke alarm. The, it allows it to work. This is the smoke alarm. I can start simulation to see that it provides the smoke here or not. Okay, stop the simulation. Uh, that works from that. The green LED is from A1. A1 is a yellow wire. Red. Red LED is A2, which is a blue wire. It's kind of hard to see. I'll leave it like that. It's kind of hard to see the blue within the Arduino, but that's what it is. The buzzer is the, the, uh, what do I call it? The Bizo? The Fizo? I don't really know how to, like, call what it is. I'm just going to call it like that. Um, yeah, I call it as buzzer. Because, uh, I, before I call it the piezo, I called it a buzzer, like a noise maker, because I had that's the idea I had. It's like a smoke alarm, so it should make noise, and that's why I called it buzzer. Uh, that's under ten. Ten is existing. It connects through the negative, and then outputs on the positive over here. Uh, my breadboard is you know small. Uh, I have the proper positive and negatives to go through the board. And goes out of the board. Uh, next up on the code is the pin mode and pin mode. All the pin modes. This is like defining that green LED is an output, red LED is an output, smoke is an input. Like if there's smoke, it will input. And then all, uh, the void setup also puts in the serial dot begin. It basically like begins the code. It's like a function start if you were doing what Java. Uh, the next is the void loop function. Which is the function of the void loop is to loop back that if something were to happen, if there's smoke, that the Pfizer will make noise and that the thing will go off. So if this if the threshold is breaking through, the threshold right now uh, just defaults around 30. That's the current. That's like the current, as I believe it is. And then once it's breaking through through 40, look if I put the sent the monitor, clear that, start. Right now, it's detecting nothing, but then once you part it over, it'll go over 400, and then once it goes over 400, it will start saying smoke is detected, and it will start making the noise. Uh, for some reason, I don't understand why it's not making lots of noise. The noise is quite little, and I'm just like, confuzzled. I'm not sure why it's making only a little noise, but it is making noise. Like, like it's very small. But it is making noise. It's making like a very electrical noise. I assume it has to do something with like the currents not being strong enough to hold it. Uh, that's the if statement. If the smoke is breaking through, if it's uh, else uh, without the light, uh, without the smoke, then green light would go on and say like everything's a okay. Smoke is not detected. Uh, yeah, and it will turn off the piezo or not so that if it. If I can move the smoke back and forth, it will turn on, turn off. Uh, there's a delay in which it loops. That's only this delay is about one to two seconds. Um, something I would improve on is like adding a display, perhaps on a side to like display the, the number. Although I'm not sure like what would that number really represent in terms of like if there's smoke, not smoke, smoke, what not. I assume that it would be like smoke with a certain number of value and that value would be like perhaps like 
the occupacity of like whatever smoke there is i don't know uh but that's like my improvement on this thing uh hope you guys liked the vid the video and that's be it for my comments